YouTube. Hope you're doing well. Just wanted to make a quick video about third-party plugins and how to install them into your DAW. Now, when I started in music production and audio engineering, this is something that I struggled with uh, and experienced a few roadblocks uh, during, the, during the early stages. So I figured, you know, third-party plugins are awesome. I like to use them. I'm sure you do too. Why can't I pass along some knowledge? So in this case, I'm gonna take you through installing a free third-party plugin that I found online called Slick EQ. And we're gonna load it up into my DAW, which is uh, Logic Pro X. So in this case, we're just gonna go through the installer. Um, nobody reads that stuff anyways here. I'm just gonna continue. Uh, yeah, sure, totally agree. Main thing to note here is your destination. I'm installing my plugins into uh, an SSD drive on my Mac here. You may have a hard drive or, or whatever it may be. Um, you can pick and choose the file types. Uh, these are super small and I'll get into that in a second. Uh, but in this case, I'm just gonna go to continue. It's going to install into my SSD and I'm going to click install and I hope I remember my password. Okay, just gonna wait for that to finish up. Perfect, I'm gonna close it. I'm gonna throw that folder in the trash because I don't really need it anymore. Perfect, now next step here is we want to go into our destination to take a look and make sure that everything was mapped in properly. Because if it's not mapped in to your destination, when your DAW goes to read it, it may not be able to find or validate the third party plugin. So in this case, I like to just quickly double check. I'm gonna click Macintosh SSD. I'm gonna go to my library, my audio folder here. And the main thing that I wanna note is my plugin folder, of course, because we're downloading plugins. Now there's gonna be a bunch of random folders here. Main things that I like to check for are whatever I downloaded or whatever was in the package that came with my plugin. Um, so in this case, you know, there's a VST file and perfect. We can see that it auto mapped into the appropriate folders here for slick EQ. Um, if you have components involved, in this case I do, ideally they'll be auto mapped. If they aren't, I just recommend going into the plugins folder and manually dragging them into these folders. So you're essentially just mapping the file types into your destination folder. If there's a component file in your plugin, drag it into your component folder in your destination. If there's a VST, drag it into your VST folder. I'm not gonna bore you with that anymore, but that's something I like to double check before I jump into my, my DAW. So in this case, I'm gonna open up Logic and it might take a little bit longer to load up in the beginning because it's actually scanning for this plugin. So in this case, fantastic, it's good to go. I'm just going to open up a test project that I have here. Fantastic. So just to give you some context, I'm just gonna open up a new audio channel here. So there's no processing on it. I'm gonna go into my audio FX here, into my dropdown. All my stock plugins will be here. I wanna make sure I go into audio units to check for the, you know, the third party plugins. All of my third party plugins will be found at the bottom here under audio units. Um, now, whatever company um, is associated with the third party plugin will be populated. I believe it was, okay, so my plugin here was for Tokyo Dawn Labs and it's a slick EQ. So if I simply just open it up, I've now got my plugin loaded into Logic in my processing chain, and it's good to use. Now, this is in a perfect world, all of this is going to happen. There's just a couple things that I wanted to quickly note. If you go into your audio units and you do not see the plugin company, there's a couple things that we can do here to make sure that Logic can read the plugin and we can actually use it. Going into the top here, under preferences, You'll see something called Plugin Manager here. Opening up Plugin Manager, this is gonna let me essentially manually manage my plugins here. I have all my stock logic at the top here. I just wanna look at my manufacturer plugins here because they're external to logic. Going down here, for example, say this uh, slick EQ was not populating in the audio units. Main thing that I like to note for here is is it checked off to use? If it's not checked off to use, you guessed it, you're not actually gonna be able to use it. Checking off use is the first troubleshooting step. The final troubleshooting step is you may actually have this plugin populated in a folder called incompatible. And what that means is 
Logic couldn't verify the plugin and therefore is not going to run the plugin. If you see an incompatible folder here with your plugin in it, there's a multitude of reasons for why that may be. Maybe it didn't map correctly or maybe you opened Logic before um, you know, the mapping occurred and it hasn't been able to read your computer for the plugin. Very simple quick fix here. Just clicking on the plugin and going to reset and rescan selection. It's just going to essentially scan your computer for the plugin to make sure that it's verified. Um, in this case, you know, it scanned my computer and my plugin passed all of the testing. So Logic now has validated my plugin and it's verified to use in Logic. So, you know, now we can have fun with it. I love third party plugins. There's lots of great free or paid third party plugins. Um, you know, you can see my processing chain. I like to put a lot of plugins on it, um, depending on what I'm planning on doing. But yeah, hope that helps. If you like the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, in the comment section below, feel free to let me know what your favorite third party plugin is right now. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day.